uh, okay, which has been good. Um, so today at Jay's Kitchen, we are making a butternut squash soup. Uh, according to Keith, it's not the season, it's not the right time, but I'm gonna put it out anyway. So keep it in your back pocket, uh, make it whenever you can, whenever you can find the ingredients. So again, as usual at Jay's Kitchen, uh, we're gonna have a little twist. Um, we're gonna roast our butternut squash soup, add some thyme, some rosemary, some garlic. Um, some different different other ingredients uh, so stay. I have uh, my butternut squash um, some local carrots um, we're gonna roast both all to together um, some local onion uh, garlic this all Burmudian garlic um, some local rosemary and local thyme. so I have the coconut cream um, you can always use the, um, the heavy cream uh, or half and half uh, but I'm gonna use my coconut cream today to uh, thicken the, the soup uh, coconut oil uh, to season uh, salt pepper some paprika and some chili flakes uh, we can use both of these a uh, little bit to give that extra spiciness for our butternut scotch soup some ground nutmeg and cinnamon they both go really well with uh, butternut scotch not only they really go well with pumpkin as well so today we're going to use these two uh, with our butternut scotch soup some maple syrup um, always you can substitute the maple syrup with uh, brown sugar or even some honey but today i'm decided to have some maple syrup to blend that sweetness uh, to the uh, to our soup some vegetable stock um, these are homemade so when you boil vegetables uh, you save that water and that's become your vegetable stock we're gonna cut our butternut scotch soup so uh, when you're cutting it uh, first we cut the uh, cut the top um, make sure your knives are sharpened because the uh, the shells are a little harder in butternut scotch soup so you cut both ends make it flat and then you cut right from the middle there you go you can scoop up the uh, seeds use a spoon um, this butternut scotch uh, seeds are a really good snack so uh, you can toast it in the oven in another time and you can make your own trail mix so you just take it out and put it in the in the water and uh, then you can separate the seeds uh, from the flesh uh, so we have a seed uh, let it let it separate so we can toss it in another time I'll leave that on the side and uh, now we have our squash. Um, I'm gonna leave the uh, the outer layer on. If you prefer, um, you can take it out. But uh, here, nothing goes to waste. So this is what we're gonna put in the oven. Here we turn on the oven to 400 degrees, and we preheat it. We can use our garlic um, to rub on the flesh of the butternut squash so it has that um, nutty buttery flavor uh, before roasting and then we're going to use our garlic inside the uh, the butternut squash and then we're going to season with uh, some salt and pepper and be generous um, remember we can season the soup again so just enough seasoning uh, for roasting and then we're gonna use our herbs uh, which is uh, thyme and rosemary um, just cut into uh, some pieces and we gonna place that with our garlic um, on the partner squash A good dose of uh, olive oil a sprinkle on the uh, on the flesh covering our herbs as well as garlic and then we are ready to go we're gonna roughly cut it there's no right or wrong um, shapes we call this uh, mirror pool cuts uh, that means roughly cut vegetables and then we're gonna 
replace that with our partner scotch on the same tray right, we have the leftover rosemary so we're gonna put in our carrots and another thing of thyme season with touch of salt we're gonna put this in our preheated oven uh, for 45 minutes to an hour so we're gonna slow roast it so it's gonna absorb all the flavors with our herbs and garlic that one out you could cut right in half and we're gonna roast this with our squash inside of which you can smell all the goodness that i can smell right now we'll take all the this goodness Let's go so right in the blender All our roasted carrots and our slow roasted onions goes inside the blender as well with our scotch puree. Uh, remember to take the, the top layer of the onion and put the rest in the blender. Uh, we have our vegetable stock, let's just go right in. That's a little bit of maple syrup. Just to get a little bit of sweetness. Again, as I said before, that uh, feel free to use brown sugar or honey. A um, little bit of cinnamon. Just touch nutmeg. Put a decent amount of uh, curry leaves and a couple of stannies um, to our coconut oil and we're gonna saute all of these. Here we're gonna add all our squash puree and onion and garlic mix which we blended to the pot and mix all together. The final stage we're gonna add our half a cup of uh, coconut milk and to thicken the soup. And the final seasoning's been done. We give it a good stir and bring it down to simmer. So we turn down the heat. Butternut scotch is a high source of uh, antioxidants. Uh, this includes vitamin C, vitamin E and beta carotene. This reduces inflammation and uh, risk of uh, several chronic diseases. We're gonna garnish our soup with a drizzle of coconut milk, a pinch of chopped parsley and some sunflower seeds, which makes our soup a complete vegan soup. Jay's Kitchen Roasted Butternut Scotch Soup, done. I may release a bonus video for this upcoming long weekend. So keep it on.